to make your wreath, you will need 260 grams of chunky wool, 30 grams of chunky wool for your bow, metal wreath ring, and some decorations. Please don't feel rushed to make your wreath at the same speed as I'm making it in the video. Feel free to pause and resume the video and make your wreath at your own speed. To begin with our chunky wreath, we're gonna take our metal frame and 260 grams of chunky wool. First, find the end of your yarn and we're gonna be making our first stitch. Your short tail should be in your right hand and you're making a twist so your short tail is on top of the long one. Then you put your fingers through the loop, grab the long tail and pull it. And make sure to tighten your first stitch. We're gonna leave approximately 15 centimeters in the end. We're placing our long tail on top of the frame. Then we're gonna grab our long tail from underneath the metal frame. Just like that. We're putting our fingers through both of our loops. Grab the long tail and put it through both of the loops. Here you have a new stitch. We continue doing the same. Put your fingers through the stitch, grab the long tail from underneath the metal frame, put your fingers through both loops, grab the long tail and put it through both of the loops. Here is another stitch. Let's do it one more time. Put your fingers through the stitch, grab the long tail from underneath the metal frame, Grab the long tail and put it through both loops. It's better not to make your stitches too big. As long as your fingers fit through it, it's a good size. Grab the long tail from underneath the metal frame. It's also better not to make this loop too big. Keep this loop just a tiny bit over your metal wreath frame. Grab the long tail and put it through both loops. And we're gonna continue like this all the way around. If you're unhappy with your stitches, if you think that they're too tight or too loose, feel free to unravel them and start over again. If you feel like you're almost done with the wreath, but there is quite a lot of yarn left, you can just move the stitches around and it even gives them more volume. When you reach the end, you should have approximately 20 centimeters left. In order to close our wreath, we're gonna take the tail on the right, insert it into our first loop, and then insert it back into the last loop. and then tighten it a little bit. Then we're gonna turn around our work and make a knot. And then hide the rest of the tails. Now turn your work around so your knot is on the top. Now we're gonna be making our bow. Take 30 grams of your chunky wool, place it in the middle over our knot. Find the middle of your yarn Make a knot and place it in the middle of your wreath Like that You can also spread the wool so you don't see the knot anymore To make a bow, we're gonna start with the left side. Place your yarn in a way that the tail that goes back to the knot is on top. And on the other side, the tail which goes back to the knot is placed underneath. Pick up 
Pick up both of the sides and make a knot by placing your left side on top of the right one. As you can see that your bow needs some adjusting. Pick up the left side and place it behind the main part of the bow. You can hide some unwanted parts by spreading the wool. Then tighten your bow. If the ends of your bow are too long, you can gently pull the yarn to make them shorter. Our Christmas wreath is almost ready. The only thing that is left is just some decorations. Feel free to get creative here and decorate your Christmas wreath as you want. Thank you for being here with me today. Please share with me your beautiful creation. I would really love to see it. Take care.